This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom tips, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to Facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hello everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and today I've got a quick tip for you on using presets with the adjustment brush in Lightroom. Now you may not have even known that the adjustment brush in Lightroom had presets, but today we're going to explore that and we'll understand how they work and how you can use them. So let's go ahead and select an image here and go to the Develop module. And in the Develop module, we can go ahead and click this icon to open up the Adjustment Brush panel. Now the Adjustment Brush allows you to make local adjustments on your image by simply painting on the adjustment. So for example, we could choose to increase the exposure and come over here and perhaps create a little bit brighter area on our image. Likewise, we could select a new brush and decrease the exposure and paint some shadow in here. So in a nutshell, that's how the adjustment brush works. However, here in the top of the panel, you'll see a list. First of all, we can double click the word effect to reset all the settings. But the second caption here labeled custom has a double arrow. And if we click this to pull down, we can see a list of presets that are pre-configured in Lightroom. Selecting any of these from the top section down to this dividing line will activate a preset for simply a single parameter. We have temperature, tint, exposure, and so forth. And so we can use these to quickly access an adjustment for just that one setting. Sometimes it's useful to use more than one setting with the adjustment brush, and there are some presets down here that use more than one setting. For example, Iris Enhance. If we select this one, we can see that we have saturation and clarity and exposure all with an adjustment and ready to paint on the iris of someone's eye. We have a number of others, including a preset for Dodge and Burn. So once again, we could choose Burn and we could come in here and create some additional shadow depth, and then we could switch to a new brush, and we could choose Dodge Lighten, and we could paint in some highlights. So again, very similar to what we did manually, but working quickly with the presets to allow us quick access. And we can create our own presets. I'm going to jump over to this image, which is an image of a sunset taken here on the Gulf Coast of Florida. And I'm going to double click the word effect to reset my parameters, and then I'll just choose Restore Default Presets. And now everything is back to its original state. Now when I work with sunset images like this, I find it helpful to adjust the color temperature in the area around the actual sunset. And what I like to do is to add some yellow, maybe about 30, and as well some magenta, maybe about between 15 and 20 and then I paint in the area around the sunset. And by painting this in, we add some nice color and create a little bit of extra vibrance to the image in this area. Now this is something that I do all the time. So I can save these settings as a local adjustment brush preset by simply clicking here and accessing this menu and choosing Save Current Settings as New Preset. I'll call this one Sunset, and then I'll click on Create. Now anytime that I want to access my Sunset preset, I've got it available right here in this menu, and I can pull it out and start painting with that adjustment that I've customized to my own liking. Now that's all there is to creating and using presets with the local adjustment brush, but there are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, the Local Adjustment Brush presets keep track of only these settings in this panel. They do not keep track of the brush size, feather, flow, and opacity. So all your brush settings down here in the bottom of this panel will be independent of your presets. Secondly, these presets store just the parameters that you've set. They do not in any way store the area that you've painted on the image itself. For example, here you can see highlighted in red the area that I painted on this local adjustment, 
and that is not included in the preset. If you wanted to copy this to another image, you'd need to use the Synchronize feature. Last but not least, you'll notice in this menu, if you've got one of these presets selected, you have the option to delete the preset right here within the menu. You can also choose to rename it. If you select one of the presets from the top section, you won't see those options. These presets are pre-configured and they're permanent, but anything below the dividing line is fair game. If you've got these selected, you can delete them, you can rename them, and you can even update them if you make a change. For example, if I chose this sunset preset and pulled up the yellow a little bit more, we can see that it's been edited. And we could choose here to update the preset sunset. And now that new parameter becomes the default for that preset. So there you have a quick and easy way to work with presets with your local adjustment brush here in Lightroom. Give it a try. It may boost your productivity. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, photography, and Lightroom tips and tricks and related information there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, and you can find me on Google Plus by going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's tip.